Stoke City Ladies FC, a team that should make the city proud, beating Leafield Athletic to cap a historic treble. It was a high scoring game, with this being one of the 12 goals in a thrilling 8-4 encounter. And it was a game officiated by World Cup final referee Howard Webb, which just demonstrates the importance of the occasion. A lot of the success has been attributed to joint managers Andy Frost and Duncan Gilchrist. Andy and Duncan, um, without them two, this, we, we, we wanted only because at the start of the year, we've drawn one, lost one, and then them two took over, and we've, we've been on beating since. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've had a great working relationship. We're here together for three years within the centre of excellence and bottoms off one so, you know, may, long may that continue. And a change in approach has been present, with emphasis on discipline, commitment and a more short passing game, which has led to the team receiving plaudits throughout the women's game for a refreshing approach. You can tell by just looking at the football we're playing and the girls' athletic um, it's, it's fantastic really. Um, the extra training's out, um, again, just having wider um, training, a lot more training staff, sorry. Has helped us massively. And I think we've changed the way we've played. Uh, we've played a lot more football this year. Uh, we've out football teams, which has shown results. Uh, defensively, we've been solid, only conceded nine in the league. Obviously, we've conceded four today, which is a bit of a downside to that, but nine in the league all season, so, which is a really good um, achievement. But despite this season's success, the team are aware that they must improve and add to the undoubted quality they already have in order to make that step up, which comes with promotion. And next year, going up the league, we'll actually train three times a week to make sure that that step up's a bit more seamless, really. Uh, we will be doing trials in June to see what sort of quality we can get in. Luckily, I mean, Laura Garside today, who's scored the final goal, she came in through the trials last year and has proven to be the top goal scorer in the league, top goal scorer in the County Cup. So hopefully we can pick another gem up like here. Nevertheless, the day must be enjoyed, leaving the managers and players lost for words. No, it's just surreal. That, that's it, surreal, really. I, I, I am speechless. I was honoured and overwhelmed really with the success we've had. And in light of Stoke City Ladies' success, what did referee Howard Webb think of the standard of women's football? Well, he spoke exclusively to Staff's Live after the game. I was thrilled actually when I was asked to take charge of this final here at uh, Stafford Rangers today. Um, I know the people who organise this league, it's a really well run league. It, uh, it's uh, won awards for the level of respect that um, that is shown in the games uh, and how it's uh, emphasised to all the participants. So as a referee, um, I was more than happy to come down and support it and I'm glad I did because it's been an enjoyable game. I've got to say the standard of women's football in the last 10 years has gone through the roof in, in my opinion from what I can see and today's game epitomise I think that you know a lot of skill a lot of effort endeavour uh, and an exciting game for the for the spectators. Onwards and upwards then and perhaps the ladies can teach the men's team a lesson or two. Shane Ryan, Staffs Live.